Hello everyone. Today let us look at a poem, My Shadow, written by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is from the textbook Marigold for the students of grade 5. This poem describes the excitement of a child who is fascinated by his own shadow. It also illustrates a child's imagination and the joy he finds in small ordinary things. Shall we read the poem once? My Shadow I have a little shadow that goes in and out of me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head. And I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all like proper children, which is very slow. For he sometimes shoots up taller like an Indian rubber ball. And he sometimes gets so little that there is none of him at all. One morning, very early, before the sun, I was up. I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an hour in sleepy head, he stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Some of the new words in the poem are India rubber ball. It's a ball that can bounce very high. Buttercup. It is a yellow flower. Aren't. It means bad. This poem is about a child who is amazed to see his own shadow that follows him everywhere. His innocent mind thinks that the shadow is afraid to be alone and that's why it's following him. He finds that the shadow can grow tall or become small and even sometimes become invisible. Unlike regular children whose growth is very slow, the shadow can become taller or shorter in an instant. One day, he wakes up before sunrise, so there is no light, and he went outside to see dewdrops floating in buttercups. Buttercups are a type of yellow flowers. But he won't find his friend shadow anywhere. He then assumes that the shadow must be lazily sleeping in the bed. Of course, the child in the poem is a small boy who does not understand how shadow is formed. So he thinks of it as another child. There are two sets of rhyming words in each of the stanza. In the first stanza, the rhyming words are me, see and head, bed. In the second stanza, the rhyming words are Grow, slow, and ball, all. In the third stanza, the rhyming words are up, buttercup, and sleepy head, bed. Given are solutions to some of the book pack exercise from your textbook, starting with the question answer. In this exercise, you will notice that you have to fill in the blanks using who, whose, who, that, which, or where. Do you know what these are? Who, whose, whom, that, and which are called related pronouns. We use who when we are referring to people or when we want to know the person. We use which 
to refer to a thing or an idea and to ask about choices. We use that for both thing and a person. But usually when referring to a person it is usually a class or type of people. Whose refers to ownership. Who refers to a person which is the object of a verb. Where is a relative adverb? Where refers to place and location. Relative pronouns and relative adverbs introduce relative clause. Now that you know how these are used, you can easily fill up the blanks. In case of doubt, you can refer to these sample answers. Hope this video was helpful. See you next time.